Hello everybody, today we are going to talk about the ways we can open the files. Because you see, we can open the files and make them being on the readable, on the writable, or maybe we want to append something at the end of the file, or maybe we want to open uh, the file as a binary file so we can edit, for example, an image. So uh, let's learn about the flags. Flags are modes for opening the f files, so we can set the file to only be able to write to them, to read from them and other things like that, as I said earlier. So let's create a comment, so uh, later you can read it easier. And uh, as you can see, we have got here a code from the last lesson where we have got only created a file which is type is fstream and we are opening here a file which is sample text file and we are checking if the file is open if not we are sending a proper message and if not if it is open then we will do something here right so when we run this program as you can see we have got here a message the file hasn't been properly opened so uh, as you can see, it is not cool that I would need to every time uh, create a file that way, right? Using the Windows or something like that. Um, <laughs> we have to make sure that the file can be easy, uh, uh, easily created through the C++ language, right? So how to do it? Why it's not being created uh, in this place? It's because that file right now here has got some kind of flux. So right now it is in some kind of mode and fstream default mode let's let's do something like define mode flux uh, is input output stream input and it has got also the flag which is output so uh, it has got the two flags like that and let's talk about the flux here. So this guy is from input, right? Uh, in stands for input and uh, it allows us to read from the file. So it is for reading, right? Reading from the file. And here we have got the out and it allows us to write to file. And when we have the, the two modes up in the, same in the same time, when we open the file, we can write to it and read from it. If we had only this thing, then we would allow only for writing to file. And it is pretty easy to understand that when we have only that flag on, the file will create automatically. Why is that so? Because look, when we can, when we allow somebody to write to something, then um, we need a file which exists, right? We, we can't have, we can't write to the, to nowhere. <laughs> so when we have the output uh, flag, we can write it if there is no file then create it and also if there is a file then truncate it so remove remove uh, every uh, remove content unless it occurs with iOS in flag so when we have a default mode right, uh, right uh, like now, because it has also this flag, we are not creating the file automatically. But if we use only this flag and we can change this behavior by simply using the second parameter here, as you can see, uh, the default mode is set here, that it is in and out. And as you can see, we can set it to only out now. And when we compile it, as you can see, we have no error. And as you can see, here we have new file, which is a sample text. So it's working very nicely. Uh, we can create a file, 
but if we use, as I said earlier, something like the, this, so the default mode, um, and let's change, for example, this name here. As you can see, the file hasn't been opened properly because it's not here. Of course, if we have the file there already, it is working pretty good. Okay, so we can change it here. We can also uh, open the file by using the constructor here. So we could say do something like that. It's a good idea to know that it's possible to do also that way. As you can see, it's working fine. But we'll use this syntax. Okay, so uh, here we have the input. So it is for reading only. There are more flags like, let's see them, truncate, which is from truncate and it is truncating the file, cutting everything inside, right? And we have got also something like eight, which stands for at the end. And it is setting pointer at the end of file. So uh, when we open the file with, for example, something like that, we have got the uh, the pointer at the end of file and we'll write at the end of file. But the problem is that this flag is also truncating the file. So if we wanted to add something at the end, we, we would need to also uh, add that flag here, the input output stream in flag. Okay, so um, maybe let's uh, check how it works out. Uh, let's add to the file, for example, um, sample, sample text. And for example, let's add another text here. Let's add at the end the enter line. Now when we open the files, we can see we have got here a sample text two times. And when we run it again, we can notice that it's the same. Why? Because that output flag is uh, cutting everything from inside. So when we add input output stream in also, then when we run it, as you can see, it is adding this thing at the end. But we also need to remember that the pointer is at the end of the file, not only for writing here, it is also for reading here. We can read right to this place. Mm, we can change the, the, the pointer where uh, things are being put. So uh, it is really important to know it. So pointer can be changed. Maybe the place of pointer can be changed. In that mode, it is possible to read and write in that mode. It's very important. Why is it important? Because we have got also something like append mode, the flag, and the content is added at the end of file, always at the end of file, and it is not possible to remove content nor adding something in other place than the end of file. So you see the difference between these two modes is that in the append we we have all uh, we have only possibility to add things at the end. It's not possible to change afterwards um, to, for example, add something in the middle of, of the opened file. It might be important in uh, some situations when we uh, try to do something. So, but it is also uh, very, uh, very important to notice that we will not need to add uh, the iOS in flag this time with the output flag. R why? Because as you can see, it is not possible to remove content then. So when we have got these tools together, when you run it, as you can see, um, the sample text has been added at the end and we didn't remove the content, right? So it's pretty cool to 
because we don't need to add that flag here with it. And there is one more mode, which is binary, and it opens the file as a binary file. Okay, so <laughs> let's think a second about what is a binary file. A binary file is a file it's a it is a it's just a typical file. Every file is a binary file. So why did they even create something like text file, binary file, and other things like that? Because you see here in that program, it is a notepad. It is automatically changing the binary form to the text form. So every zero one 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 is changed to, for example, S, A, M, P, accordingly, right? So the text file is a binary file, but when we use a notepad, we can interpret this as a text. And here we have got a binary mode and not a binary mode. Not a binary mode is a text mode, and the difference between these two is only that in the text mode, the default mode, uh, there is an enter uh, edit, which is a bit, which is always uh, gonna be interpreted the same way under any operation system. If we use the binary, we might have problems if we, for example, change from uh, the Windows to some kind of Linux or other uh, or other place, or we will change between binary and the, the text mode frequently or something like that. We might have a problem with the enters, right? And that's the only difference between here right now. So <laughs> maybe you will need in the future, maybe not. Maybe you don't need to even uh, be confused right now. <laughs> But you need to remember that if you want to open an image of some kind of archive like a zip, you would need to use a binary mode. So here is the very important difference then, right? As you can see here, we have the fstream library. We have also the i fstream library, which has def default mode input and all OF stream library, which default is output. Uh, the F stream has got inside because in it inherits from if stream and off stream. So it has got all things from these two guys. So maybe it's the best idea just to use it all, all the time, this, this thing, but you know, if you especially want to say that you want to just read, just use it, this thing, if you want to especially say that you want to just uh, uh, to put something inside the file, use the off stream. That's the way you should uh, use the, the libraries. Okay, that's all in that lesson. Thank you very much.